Cool. All right. Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to another wonderful session of the Trusted Nuggets. Today, we have Sally Griffin, who is going to be presenting for us 15 minutes of pure value for you to take away and action in your, in your business and your life in the next week. Please do make sure if you are watching the replay, drop any questions or comments under the video. Uh, and with that, I'm handing over to Sally. Thank you so much. Well, I'm very excited and honored to be doing this nugget. I love this very silly description of a trusted nugget. And I'll do an intro. So my name is Sally Griffin, aka Millionaire Yogi, and I help visionaries become new earth influencers. And I'd like to suggest, first of all, that a lot of people will not know what new earth means. And so I'm going to just bring you up to speed on that, because the topic is if you can step forward right now as a new earth influencer, I'd say even rather than leader, there's a difference between influence because the, the root of the word is in flow. So you could be very much an introvert in flow and cause the same level of impact as a very extrovert leader. So the new earth I would describe as um, there has been a, spiritual reference to it that this is a, a golden age and that we're coming to a place where actually that it would be solution driven there would be eco sustainable um kind of methods in all the businesses that go forward in new earth it would be spiritually rooted um and basically it's a golden age which has been referenced many times by the aquarian age but the simplest terms and roger talks about it as society 5.0 in the more spiritual world it's known as new earth and we were we were asking ourselves amongst a, a group of us how is it possible that with the pause which is part of the beginning of this new earth disruption you've got the perfect thing that happened that caused everybody to stay at home and reflect on their life and notice that certain things actually um, are even better, like working at home and getting online and all of that kind of thing. Part of that is that we're developing a new earth technology to support going back in time where family connection is more important, um, where people staying at home and doing the amount of work is going to be a much more favorable environment for them. And so with that in mind, this new earth opportunity, what is possible for people? And the first thing I noticed was as an events organizer, all these events were stopping, all of them, like across the board. There were, and you can think of different things. I, I used to run festivals, so I was quite interested in looking at the festival community. Um, creative exhibits, gigs, music, but you could think anything, like even digital fairs, uh, food fairs, everything has just stopped. And in that moment of this pause, what will happen for traditional facilitators and producers of these events, some of whom have really acquired celebrity status, is they will literally be just problem solving. And most of that will go all the way till next year, including things like the Olympics. There'll be, you know, ticket refunds, relocations, all that stuff that they do. And the very last thing right at the bottom will be how to energetically create their, their next level event. Really because there's so many, so many problem solving. So if in that space, there are people like yourselves who are willing to jump forward into that arena, and the, the issue mostly for people is the how. But if you can just say that you want to, I'm involved in, uh, I'm not the only one, there's a whole bunch of people who are involved in being able to help you step up now, even as an introvert. And if you take the stage now and become a hub, Roger's talked very much about the hubs of business. I believe that doing an event, a mass event, is one of the most impactful things that you could do for the next 10 years. I think it will set, I believe truly that it will set you on the stage, on a, a very different stage where all of these organizers have just dropped out, like across the board. And if you have the, the energy and the, 
you know, the fervor, the courage to just step yourself on this level of stage. There is a level playing field right now. And all you need is you need teams of support which would deliver on tech and lots of things like that. But the actual question you want to ask yourself is, if I'm a connector, whether I'm an introvert or an extrovert, if I can connect to a group of people within a topic that is my field of interest, and if I have the nerve to step up now, then you will position yourself. And I'm very interested in positioning because I work lots with branding and messaging and positioning. You would position yourself into a very new thriving market for the next 10 years. And if you become a hub, is this clear to everybody how that, how that is, is operational? If you start a conversation right now on a very large scale and you invite all of these other collaborators to come and have that conversation with you, the opportunity for it is gathering data because we're talking about platforms which can host these things and the data collection of, on the platforms is the first thing to look at. Money is second. Money is secondary in this. It's data first. You get a gathering of these people who are uh, experts in your field. And then the potential afterwards for a sales flow afterwards is enormous. Um, also creating evergreen products out of it are enormous. So what I'm suggesting is that you all just ask yourselves deeply, what is that topic that makes me, like makes my heart sing right now. And if I was willing to be the one that stepped forward in that, and I'm certainly somebody who can help you with that. I've come to a place in my life where I wanna stop uh, running my own events. And my legacy piece, due to stage, not age, but it, there's a phase going on right now, I'm more interested in producing other people's events than my own. And I think you'll find there are a lot of other people who are up for that too. So if you're the one with the idea um, and you can support this on, the, the opportunity for new business is just simply incredible, like popping. Do you want to open the floor up to that? Kath Kathleen, do you want to uh, have open the floor? Would you like, what would you like us to open the floor to do? Well, I'm just saying, uh, you know, in, I've dropped the nugget, the nugget I could go on and on about, but I've dropped, <laughs> dropped the nugget. But I'm just wondering if anybody, like I was speaking to Woon about this the other day, we've got, you know, eight minutes left. Maybe people want to interact with the nugget. <laughs> Certainly, sure. So if anyone, does anyone have any questions or feedback on Sally's nugget about being a new earth influencer, maybe an idea or a niche um, on your particular like event that you might want to be thinking about or any questions on that even for Sally at this point? Well, I'd never thought of anything like that before. <laughs> you haven't? Is that Gillian? Yes. You've never thought about anything like that? Well, I know, I just saw Michelle's comment as well. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about, well, no, you haven't. That's the nugget. I want you to think about it now, though. What if, and go into it like that, what if in my fantasy level of creation, I could be the center of something, and don't ask how, don't worry about the how, just what if in your world would be an explosion of an idea that would be fascinating to you, that you would absolutely love, that you could invite other people to speak on. And the, the difference with this kind of thing, the traditionally summits have been um, on some level super boring, right? Because what happens is summits, there's a traditional way of doing it. There's usually 21 speakers to 30 speakers. And people just sit and watch speakers talk. But the difference with this possibility, which is working on a, a summit platform such as Hey Summit, is some events can be live, some could be like you doing a dance event, some could be um, like even on the level of food, like taste testing and getting people to talk about the different tastes, it becomes very experiential. And so you're not just experiencing like a wall of just speakers, who are just delivering interviews. You can do panelists, you can do 
you know, experiential kind of things. You can do live, you can do pre-recorded, all at the same time. And so Michelle was saying you were interested in a trust. What did you call it? Let me have a well, quick... I mean, it's not like an overly clever title, the trust conference. But I That's think sort of, it's... Yeah. It's and it, an and, online one. And I would probably get you to tweak the second word out of it, you know? Like conference is traditional. Let's make it sexy. Why not? But trust is the sexy trust conference. Exactly. Or trust naked trust conference. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, well, it could be something like just think about the different ways. I, I've been speaking to um, Shirley McKinnon, who wants to do one in sales. Traditional sales has been quite a masculine you know, imagine all those sales conferences which were about how to sell on the phone, cold calling and all of that. She wants to create it very different. And so she's calling it a convergence, a sales convergence, and using very different language. That's part of the new earth thing. We can call it anything we want. It could be, but I, I would ask you to start thinking about what's, what would be a gathering that would cause trust and what would that gathering be? And to just stretch, go into the imagination, because right now we have the potential to do, call it anything. You could call it a fair, you could call it a gathering, a convergence, a, an ocean, a beach party, a retreat. You know what I mean? It, and, and nothing is stuck with the word summit anymore. This is the beginning of a real shift in the way the only thing that's missing, I think, is the, is the scent. And I, I actually even thought how you could get around that too. You know, books have scratch and sniff for kids. <laughs> and we, we can't scratch and sniff the screen yet. But what if you created a pre-existing package that went, was sent out to, the, to many people at a conference which involved scent? or involved something that you were gonna eat, something you were gonna, like an oil that you were gonna send, it could go anywhere, right? The only thing that will hold you back is your imagination. And all of these things are that level of new earth, like getting more related digitally en masse. So the ones that I'm really interested in right now are a minimum of 10,000, well, what's the maximum? It could be anything, right? Because the tech potential right now is everything is so easy if you get the tech right. So that's what I'm creating. If any of you, um, we have like two minutes. Jackie, I love that you, uh, you're on a mission to inspire people and for biz business people to thrive. Um, so you have an idea already, then speak to me afterwards and let's make it happen. And it's like that. That's how much fun this world is right now. It, it's really different than these staffy, boring, long-winded, like how do we get it all together? It can happen just like this. And that's New Earth. It's like instant ideas going out to people, inspiring them. And then the how is the easiest part. Does anyone else have a question? Woon, you wanted to do one on podcasting, and I really think you should. I'm really up for helping you with that. And then I think turn it all into a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you create a podcast out of the event. I mean, the possibilities are just... That's so meta. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just add quickly, Sally, I mean, I'm going to build on your idea. So imagine you go into an exhibition hall, okay, that pulls in like tens, 20,000 people. So you're looking at Genius You now in this community of a million entrepreneurs who each have a product and service to sell. Now you create this online exhibition, or give it another word, I love that convert convergence. Okay, so you create this online exhibition where people come on board and they promote their products and services. Now you're sitting across the globe, you're in all the countries, so the basic the, the practical side, the experiential side can be distributed from each country. Sorry, this is my brain going now yeah. quickly. So, um, so basically, then what you do is you can have like speaker platforms. And, and the, uh, I, when I was in one of your online things recently, I mentioned a company called Cvent, but I know you have the tech as well, yeah. okay, where you actually can actually host hundreds of thousands of people at an exhibition sort of 
set up um, all over the globe and it can all happen at the same time. So, you know, and if you look at a, an exhibition, people pay for their booths, they pay to exhibit, yeah. they pay to speak, they pay to eat, they pay whatever. So, so just leave it out there. Sorry, I can go. Gab away. Now you've got me on a mission. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Well, that's what I mean. And it is, it is so inspiring and exciting. And yes, I did check out c -Vent. I'm kind of interested in that. Hey Summit, which again uses the word summit, is an amazing platform. So I'm going to be using that as the main one. Um, and then I'm speaking to Siraj, who's, of course, masterminding more out of that. But the, the main thing is right now, even if you're a really like influencer from behind the scenes, you have this potential to be as powerful as a very extrovert leader on a playing field right now. And that's what I think the, the golden nugget is. That's awesome. So Sally. <laughs> That's so cool. We've definitely got a lot of inspired and excited people after this. And if you are watching the recording as well, make sure that you do connect with Sally on Genius U and you can access all of the information on the Trusted Buyers Club and the various members of the Trusted Buyers Club too. You can get more info on the Trusted Buyers Club on the welcome page in this circle. So do make sure you do that. And you can find Sally and her products in the Genius U web store. Definitely make sure you connect with her, reach out to her with all of your new earth uh, event and festival ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and in the meantime, have a great rest of your day. And thank you everyone for tuning in. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Bye, thank you.